the day before Barack Obama is sworn in as the 44th President of the United States. I consider this double honor to be here today as, and bring a presentation on Dr. King's Day. We've had many Dr. King's Day celebration, but the stand on the eve of the furtherance of King's dream, yes, it's yes. an honor. Yes. With that honor came some butterflies and some anxiety. Oh, you can do it, you can My do son it. didn't help any matters <laughs> by such a great introduction. Yes, you can do it. walking with Dr. King. It was so nice to walk with a leader. He did nice things. He said, we should live in peace. I said to him, you are doing things most people are afraid to do, and everybody loves your work. Your mother did good things for you, and you do nice things for other people. Dr. King did things not for money, he did it for us. Dr. King sometimes went to jail and black people went there too. I could not tell you why I cannot tell you why they went, but I can tell you that some went for no good reason and some did go for a reason. So when Dr. King made rules, he made them fair and made things right. But one day he was brought, he was walking from his room and someone shot him. Everyone cried. Dr. King did my thing for people and that is why we would never forget a nice person like Dr. King. He was good. Written by Dr. King. Okay. Amen. Amen. To dream. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> just hold it. <laughs> oh, wait, it's right. Amen. Not, not just yet. <laughs> I say to you today, my friends, so even though we face the difficulties of the day in tomorrow, we still, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. Yeah. I have a dream that one day, this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. All men. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. This was and is Reverend Martin Luther King's dream. When Dr. King announced his vision and dream for America, he was aware that not everyone was going to support his dream. In fact, he knew that a dream like this was dangerous for a black man to have in the 1960s. Yes, because it challenged yes, the status yes. quo and it flew in the face of the powers of that day. But despite the difficulties and the dangers of that dream, he yet dared to dream. We too must dare to dream, regardless of the difficulty, regardless of the challenges, and even regardless of the dangers of our dreams. We must keep on dreaming, keep on praying, but with the prayers and with the dreams, we must be willing to do some work to make our dreams come a reality. We have a responsibility not only to make our dreams come true, but to work to make sure Dr. King dreams lives on. Yes. Dr. King dream of change. Yes, Even though he lived in a, in a land where little had changed for black Americans for 100 years yes. since Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation yes. in 1863. But despite this fact, Dr. King dreamed that this nation would rise from the dark and desolate valley of segregation to the bright sunlight of racial justice. He dreamed of a bright new day yeah. in the face of reality. He was living in a dark, cruel land. A land where crosses were being burned on the yards of African Americans in Alabama. Yeah. A land where, where lynchings were occurring on the back roads of Alabama. Yeah. He lived in a dark, cruel land that even church
churches in the Bible Belt of the state of Georgia were being targeted for fire bombs. All right, all right. Even though King lived in a dark, cruel land, he refused to allow the darkness of his day to impose limits on the brightness of his dream. We likewise must not let our present conditions define our ultimate destiny. Yeah. We must not focus so much on where we are that we cannot see where God can take us. Yes, sir. Yeah. We must let God improve our vision yeah. so we can look past the difficulties of today and see a tomorrow where we are more than conquerors. All right. Even more importantly, we must learn to walk not by what it looks like, but we must learn to walk by faith. Faith in a God yeah. who's able to plant a hope, vision of hope in our hearts. Yes, Water it with His Spirit. Grow it with His love. Oh, and yeah. birth it with His power. Oh, yeah. We must yeah. Despite what Dr. King heard and despite what he saw, he still dreamed of a better day. Yeah. Because he believed in a God who's more powerful than Governor Wallace of Alabama, yeah. who said in 1963, segregation today, segregation tomorrow, and segregation forever. Yeah. He believed in a God who's greater than a nation who blindfolded justice yeah. and gave her an unjust scale to weigh the rights of African Americans. He yeah. believed in a true and living God yeah. who told him no lie can live forever. Yeah. Truth, press the earth, shout! Even though Dr. King knew that he may not get to the mountaintop yes, with us, yes, yes. he yet dreamed that we would have a mountaintop experience. Oh, yeah. And because Dr. King dreamed, generations of African Americans were able to dream. Yeah. 